Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to be talking about the eye chart and some of the math behind it. So first, the first thing that you need to know is that human vision, when it's normal, it's expressed as an angle. And that angle is one minute of angle. And what that is, is actually, like let's say you have an angle, and this angle right here is one degree. What if you had a smaller angle than that? How do you express that? I mean, you could do like fractions of an angle, but how it's usually expressed is minutes of angle, which is actually like if you've got one minute of angle, that'd be one sixtieth of one degree. So what's going on there is like, if you've got this one degree angle, there's like 60 imaginary lines in between so that you can divide up one degree into 60 minutes. So in terms of human vision, like let's say you've got your eye right here, the little people, and you're looking at an eye chart over here. So there's a distance, and this distance is 20 feet. But to make this a lot easier, I'll use the metric system, which would be six meters. I'll cross that out. So if we know what the angle of visual acuity is, it's about one minute of an angle, or one minute of one degree, then we can kind of figure out, like if there's the angle, we can figure out how big a letter on the eye chart can be. If someone has normal vision, then we should be able to figure that out. But see, what that one minute of angle actually, what it's actually expressing is the critical detail of a letter. So like if we're looking at an eye chart here, this letter C is gonna be a certain size, which is actually five minutes of angle. But the critical part, the thing that distinguishes a C from an O is this gap right here. So when an eye chart is created, it has to account for the fact that there's a critical mark or a critical detail of a certain letter of a certain size and that size should be one minute of angle. So if we go back here to my crude drawing, we've got six minutes on this side, or six meters on this side, sorry. And we know that this angle is one minute of angle. We don't really care about this. This is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So what we need is we're trying to figure out how big this is right here. This is the critical detail of a letter. That's the size. So we know the angle and we know the adjacent side of the triangle, right? So what we're looking for is the opposite. So we can express this as a tangent. Tangent equal to opposite over adjacent. So we know the minute of angle is one. So we can express this as tangent one 
60th because there's six minutes in every angle or 60 minutes in, a, uh, in every angle, sorry. And then that's gonna be equal to the opposite, which we don't know, so we'll put an X over adjacent, which is six, because we're gonna do this in meters to make it easy. So if we come over here to the calculator and we do tangent one divided by 60 equals that big long decimal. And my phone is in French right now, so um, it has a comma, but that's actually a decimal place to, uh, to most people. So then we know what's in here. So if we cross multiply, that would be this number over 1 is equal to x over 6. So we just have to multiply this by 6 meters. And I just screwed that up. So let's do this again. Tangent 1 divided by 60. So 1 minute of angle divided by 60 minutes in one angle equals that times 6 meters is equal to that many meters. So if we move that decimal place over one, two, three times, that should give us millimeters, right? So the critical detail on the 20-foot line, which is this CZRHS line, the critical detail of each of these letters should be about 1.7 millimeters. So if we take our ruler, we'll put this on here, you should be able to see if this is calculated properly and this is calibrated and printed properly. Then the size of that gap, you can probably see, it's about one and a half millimeters or 1.7 millimeters just like what the math tells us. But then what about the total size of the letter? That should be about five minutes of angle. So what we can do is do the same thing. We'll do tangent five divided by 60 equals that. And then we'll times that by six meters because that's how far we're looking. So we'll times that by a thousand just to make it a little easier to read. And that'll give us millimeters. 8.72 millimeters. So the size of each letter on the six meter or 20 foot line should be about 8.7 millimeters. You know, I don't know if you can tell, but that's pretty much exactly what it is. It's just short of that nine millimeter line. So there you have it. Visual acuity is expressed as an angle, and that angle is to represent basically what something is projected onto the retina um, what that size is going to be. And the easiest way to express that is with an angle. Hope that makes sense.